Hi friends, what's this window? Here we are selecting a directory. Which directory I select based on that, the whatever the files inside and the folders inside this will be displayed in this tree view. You can see these are the files here. I can do a browse through the files and this is a directory. So I can expand this directory and see the files inside this also. I can go to that particular directory also or I can move off. I'm just moving one step up. So here it is. So I can expand this and see all those files, whatever was inside that. So this is a, I can use the browsing my local system and display all the files directory in a tree view of Kinter. We'll see how to develop this. We have already discussed how to browse and point to a directory and display the path in a Kinter window. This uh, code will start from that. The link to that is already there. We have used the file dialog and let's just run it and see up to this point. Here it is. You can just select any file or here it is and we can display the path here. Now we'll add the tree view here. We'll use some more libraries because we are handling the, we are reading from the operating system. So for that, we'll import our OS. This module will uh, return us all the directories, file names and also this there. And then because uh, our uh, tree view is there, so we'll use TTK. So from TK enter import TTK. So this because we are going to use a tree view. Now let's come down here below the label. We'll I'm just pasting my tree view code. So these are few lines of code up to this I have pasted. Now you can see I've just declared the tree view, select mode is broad, height is nine because that many rows by default it will di display and I can scroll down. Suppose more uh, files are there, I can scroll down and up. Now second, I have just placed it on the grid and the row is one, the next below the button and the label what I am displaying and I take given a column span of two because the width I have given more because all the file um, names I have to display. Now here is the column. Now I am just giving a tree and heading both I am showing because once I give this so one, I can have that plus button which will expand it or collapse it also. So that heading headers also I am showing. Now the column only one column I am taking then uh, the only the that ghost column here it is and the next the file names whatever will be then heading text I have given the name I have given and that's all we can just see how this tree view looks below the here it is so you can see the tree view we have added now we'll browse and display our files here let's come inside our function which uh, shows and display here it is the main function this we have already discussed in our previous tutorial also this this particular line shows the dialog uh, file dialog and we can select the directory because we are asking it to only the select the directory and then on the label we are just printing the path here so we are saying that just print the path now we'll add to this we'll add our code inside this function of course to this uh, so the file path or add to the tree view now what we will do is first root some variables we are doing this particular path will not declare it it will not use it os dot work now here what you will take it is path path is here the variable whatever the user has selected the, uh, the directory that path is stored as a string here the same one i am giving getting so this is just storing the uh, path of it the same path we will not use it this is for because three things the os walk returns the path the uh, directories and the files so this is the one what you will now what you next will see is diary names so whatever the directory names are there diary names i have written equal to next now i will get os dot walk and again i am giving path because it returns a tuple the uh, okay here i missed it because it's the element number okay here i will say uh no here not here i have to put it one then i will say two here so that will i will get the diary names now now next is i'll just copy this line paste it here make it three i will get the files okay now i will get the these are this will this is the list of files list of directories i can write it here also list of directories this is my list of files 
fine now next job is how we will push this data to our uh, tree view what you will first do is delete the previously if any data is there in our tree view so for that for item in trv dot because it's a tree view get children so it will loop through all the thing and delete the our so here we'll say trv dot delete item so this will just make the tree view clean because every time we change the path the previous whatever the files directories are there should be removed and a fresh data to be given so anytime this function is triggered fresh path is directory list of files everything is taken and previous data also is removed so that that is what we are done now 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 next is let's just uh, find the internal paths for that so for that one counter will use i equal to one this is the counter and one for the sub directories we will explain that f to i equal to one two counters we have created why i am using this name because it is inside the inner directory so a files that list that is why i am using f to i or you can give any name also now I'm just telling for D in DIR names. What is DIR names or diary names are here? Whatever the path selected, the diary names hold the directories inside. So let's first dis display the directories. Then we'll go for the our uh, files. So for that, for D in directory TRV dot insert, I'm inserting um, rows or a item to that. So what is the parent window first is because it's it's a parent sorry not window parent node or parent row there is no parent node these are the directories are parent node so we'll give it blank now where it will be it will be added at the end now what should be iid or the yeah iid equal to i means this is every row every item will have a unique id that id we are taking as one and we'll increment it so next one will have plus one like that what is the values so values equal to D because here I am just looping through and inserting it even this up to this point let's just see because we are just inserting it let's just see how this up to this works we will go, we'll go step by step so every step we can see select a directory now let me just come here put it there select the folder yeah my directory it is not showing anything here let me just check it here I have to use index i equal to i plus one because every row will have should have a unique index and one more thing is here I should start from triple starts from zero here this will be one and this should be two because only three elements starting from zero so now let's just see again yeah now let me just select a directory here I am giving now I should see only the yeah the directory is displayed inside this my diary my diary zero is there that's what but be inside that what it is there we have so far not done we'll add what is inside that so for that purpose here it is so we are getting the D as the all the directories but there should be a expand collapse and the child rows should be available so we can expand it and see for that purpose let's just create uh, understand what is the files inside the directory so for that we'll have to add to our path this particular directory so we are saying now forwards so this is the directory path i am just adding plus d d is the current directory so to the whatever the path we had to that i am adding the directory so i am going inside one step inside so path 2 is fixed now file sorry here i will come next line files 2 this is the again i am collecting files of inside a subdirectory not the main directory equal to next the same thing i will use i will interface the operating system walk now again path 2 now here again because i am just listing the file so i'll go the tuple will return me the second element here the first element is the path second element is the directory third element is the our file so i am using two here so now inside that i will loop it and add that to the child of the parent node whatever i have declared it here so for that purpose after files 2 uh, what i will say for 
F2 because I am it is inside the file in files 2 because files 2 is the list which contains the all the my files of the subdirectory what I will do TRV insert now tree view I am inserting but I am inserting a child uh, in inserting as uh, my uh, child window child item so I am giving I here then end I am adding at the end then iid or unique id here i will i have to maintain it i cannot give one because already it is used so for that what i am doing i am just creating a unique id and for that i will add f2i what is f2i we started f2i as one we'll keep on incrementing it but one thing is we can't add a string to this so i'll convert this to a string because this is a string addition so i am putting it here now I have added this and the values values equal to okay let me just go to the next line here so I am giving values here let me just move a bit here here I will say when I am giving values I will first I will put a dash here because it is inside so some indenting I have to mend I will while displaying that will be there plus F2. F2 is the files inside. That's all. Now that will show me, but I have to increment because again inside this, I have to increase the uh, my F2i value equal to F2i plus one. Now this time, every time this loop executes for one file, next file, next file, this value increase and the IID value, a unique value is given to this unique to this child. And note that these are child to my I value. I value is one directory value. So like that inside what that directory, whatever files are there, they will be coming as a child to the directory. So that way it will display it. So now let me just come bit. Okay. So this will should show me the uh, inside up to this. We can check it also. Let's see how up to this point it works. Here it is. I'm selecting the directory. Uh, okay. I'm just going one step up. Select the folder. Here it is. Now the this has come because childs are there. Now here you can see inside whatever files are there. I am getting that is because of my internal for loop. I can close it also. Let's add the file listing. So now directory and inside that whatever files are there we have uh, displayed that. So now I'll just come out to up the for loop. Here I am. So I'll continue the indexing. So the same I value I have to continue. So I'll say for F in files. The files is what is the file here at the top. You can see here this one the list of files. This particular one we are now looping through and displaying all the files inside so for that let's just for f in files now trb insert now because this is files and it is in the parent uh, parent node so it's not a child node so we are given that default one and uh, one up to one below other iid now the unique id has to be one so first after displaying this one directory the last directory i value we are just in because it will be incremented here you can see at line number 28 so the next i value it will take so the unique uh, uniqueness of all the uh, nodes are maintained so that is there then uh, after that we will give values values equal to the file name whatever the file name is there now here again we have to increase i equal to i plus one because next file next file like that and these are all in the parent window that's all let's just if it is looks complicated to you, you can download the entire source code and use the comment section you if you are stuck up and you can use it uh, step by step don't go at a one go first display the directories then expanding add the inside the directory whatever is there and then come out again and display the files that way so let's just run this and see here it is now i am selecting the directory okay my diary let's start from here i'm selecting this folder okay because there is no files in between because when i am expanding this this particular loop line number 24 you can see this loop is activated because there is no file inside that that's why next i am not getting now let me just change it once i am going again inside this all the previous nodes are there deleted because that that's the first one we have taken care now here you see inside this i have some files files are listed and the directory my diary one is there so my i can expand this and these are all with the, because all this we have maintained that 
dash here that you can see here it is i will just here you can see the values just was this this dash we have given that one what it is pushing the listing of the inter internal files so this is way you can expand it also further you want this is the integration of your file system with a displaying with a using a tree view that's all friends if you are still if you have any doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it and i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add tutorials and we frequently do that also please share this video with your friends and thank you for watching